and good for starters. But what Sydney doesn't know is that when she told me I was first on Tuesday, I've been like popping Valium and Xanax ever since. <laughs> first, I don't know if first is, I can't, blinding. I don't know if first is the best, the easiest, or the hardest, but um, I'm gonna give it a shot. So, yay first, whoa. I've been, I've been flat ironing my hair. It's such a bad hair day since like 8 a.m. So that's what I've done to get up here. So women, women, <laughs> it's our time. Look around. We're the notorious Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who I pray never dies. We're Oprah. We're Michelle Obama. We're Serena, she's pretty hot out there, isn't she? And we're the entire U.S. women's soccer team. Yay, let's still hear it for those girls. Come on, guys. Woo! It's the only time I've watched a soccer game start to finish. We're a million women march. We're the Me Too movement. We have brought titans of industry to their knees. You guys are getting worried, aren't you? How I'm a man hater. <laughs> well, I'm really not. And recently, we have seen someone dead in their cell. A little Godfather esque, though, isn't it? Remember that scene in The Godfather? They, they sacrifices for the dog in this jail cell? We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're pretty terrific. We're doctors, we're lawyers. We're one of the Blue Angels today, if they went out there to fly, I don't know, but one is a woman, which is amazing. And we are now allowed to fight on the front battle lines, but I advise you not to go, but you're allowed to go, women. But why do I bring this up? Because as cool as we are, and as courageous as we are, and it's our time in history, I want to know, this is my question, why we still agree to pee when we go to the doctor in a teeny, tiny pot. <laughs> and I know I've been watching the men out there, you're like, what the fuck, who cares if a few women in the cup? Because you could pee on a thimble. <laughs> it's an aiming situation. I'm gonna, you practice when you go home. See if you can't pee on this thimble. <laughs> so, I, no, I bring this up again because I recently went to the doctor. And after, who out here has missed before I even continue? If all you women at least missed once the cup, are you gonna admit it? <laughs> We've all missed. It's easy to miss. So when I recently went to the doctor and they aim you toward the bathroom before he'll see you, and it's like, for me, it's like dead man walking because I know it's just, I'm not feeling so good about it. I go in there. There's a set of instructions on the walls. There's a little basket of towelettes. So first is the towelette. I open it. It falls to the floor. I'm nervous. My hands are sweaty. And now I'm staring at it going, does the 15 second rule? I know you all have five, but I have 15. Does that apply? <laughs> I'm never hungry. I just let it sit there for a while while I think about it. So, um, does that rule apply to the toilet? So I throw it away, just in case. And I, and I open another one. But my hands are very sweaty, so now I just clutch it. And I think that there should be a video. Like for women, men, this is educational for you. And when you go home tonight, hug a woman. Because for us, it's a hit or miss situation. It's not specific. So I think there should be a video in the bathrooms of all these doctor's offices kind of explaining, like the general region. I mean, I think it's, it's regional, it's not specific. So then I see the cup, and I recently, I recently had one of my friends suggest that I stand and pee. See, I wore a skirt. I beg you not to wear those expensive Lululemon pants to go to the doctor, because they're like 120 bucks, and you don't want to be peeing on those. So I wear a skirt, I take the cup. Like I said, it's hit or miss. I know you don't believe me. Do you believe me? Yeah. You did. <laughs> it's hit or miss. So I'm nervous. So like you just move up, you're sitting, he's embarrassed. So you're sitting. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god, he's gonna need therapy. <laughs> so 
I'm like, you know, I have the cup, and then you're waiting for the no, you're waiting to see if you hit the cup or not. Which is a, it's a tense moment, that time between whether or not you're hitting the cup. Now, I have a friend, Steve, and he go, when we walk around LA, he can go behind a building and pee. I mean, man, you can pee anywhere. I can't even go camping. Like, I went for a hike and I held it for like 16 hours. I was like toxic. So now I'm back at the doctor's office and I'm just wondering if I could pee at all. Although I did have one friend who said she overflowed the cup. So she had like reverse, the reverse problem. So now I wonder whether how much of the cup you should fill. It's always like, is it this much? Should, is this enough? It's like prunes. Is three enough? Six too many? It's like, <laughs> how much of this cup is good? So I do, you know, I'm like hunting and pecking. It's not science. It's really not very specific, site specific. But I do it, you know, finally I sit there for like 30 minutes. I'm sweating. I think I have a rash. And I now I have to move the cup from where I'm sitting to the shelf. God forbid you drop the damn cup and have to start this over again. So now I put my name on it, which I barely remember, because I'm just too flummoxed from the whole thing. And I leave for that, that year. I'm done for the year. But I say, women, the next time you're out there, a million of you or four of you, I want you to pick it and be, no more cups. No more cups. I, you know, buckets. Bring back buckets. And let's see if we can get Her Honorable Ruth Bader Ginsburg behind this. So that is it.